Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And in this episode, we've got some fun stuff coming your way. Yes. We have a collaboration that we were asked to be part of that will mm -hmm. air on Sunday. Yep. It's the second part of the We Are Family collab. It's our pride collaboration yes. for people in the community and allies of the community too. Absolutely. You saw a bunch of people paint already uh, two weekends ago mm -hmm. and we're kicking off the painting premiere train on Sunday at one o'clock Eastern. So that's 12 o'clock Central, which would be 11 o'clock Pacific. Mountain and and then Pacific. Yeah. So, um, so there you have it. Time zones are crazy. And we even got people pouring internationally as well, yes. which, is, which is crazy. So I don't know how those guys managed to keep up. But yes, yeah, so one o'clock Eastern, the premiere train will start. And I think there's about seven or eight of us pouring on Sunday. Yes. So we are family. There's going to be costumes. There's going to be fun. There's going to be shenanigans. So come back and see us for that, definitely. So why am I telling you this here? Well, it's because Pride is the whole month of June. Yes. And in today's pool, we're going to use Pride colours. We are. What are you going to do, Shabani? You know what? I think that I might pull out something of an old hat. Oh. Yes. Have you got old hats? No. Oh. But I have new hats that I can pull it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. And by that, you mean? I mean that I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be actually recreating a pour that I did last year for Pride. Okay. Yes, it's a marbling technique using the Pride I colors. I love that one. Yes. In that episode, I did a 3D flower using yes. the Pride colors, which yeah. I particularly loved. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a ribbon pour. Nice. Yeah, I, you know I love my ribbon pours and I've never done a Pride colored ribbon pour. Ooh. So I'm gonna give that one a go. I think that that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Mm, a little scared of these colors in a ribbon pour now I think about it, but I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> All right, so nothing else to tell you really other than um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've heard some rumors about people being unsubscribed, about people's notifications not working, about people not being notified when episodes are going mm. on. Mm. We tend to keep a very tight schedule. Yes. We'll pour at seven o'clock central, central for you on Tuesday. We'll throw pouring the tea up with Massey at the same time that is not a premiere. Sundays are the ones that are a little bit all over yeah. the place because normally we like an 11 o'clock central time unless there's in a collab. Exactly. So please don't forget to check us out. We really appreciate it. And there will be a pouring the tea with Massey this week and we have a very special announcement. Yes. So keep your eyes open for that too. All right, let's waffle. Let's get to the table. Let's get to the table. We'll see you guys there. Oh, well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs> I know that because of everything that's been going on this month and all the collabs and all the pours you've already seen, I know you'll recognize these colors. We've got a Pride We Are Family collab coming up this weekend. We do. We're so excited about it. We're doing the penultimate, the very last weekend, I should say, of the collab. 14, 15, 16 artists all yeah. pouring. Lots and lots of fun. Show Pony still to paint his. I've been painting mine over the last week. Yep. Hmm. Strange, unusual, something I've never done before. Can't wait to show you. Um, but we're going to use some Pride colours just in a couple of really interesting pours. Yeah. I asked the show pony to do this particularly on his pour because I really loved the way it came out when he did it before. But I've never done this, which is a ribbon pour using Pride colours. Nice. So what we've got here is definitely some. Uh, primary or no phalo blue mm -hmm. we've got the violet prism violet by liquitex basics uh -huh. we've got just a, a green by liquitex basics we've got cadmium red we've got azo orange by azo amsterdam orange. Mm -hmm. and then we've got pearl golden hour pearl by golden arteza hour. Mm -hmm. so that's our pride color from the pride flag theme i'm gonna layer my cup for you just right here because i'm just gonna layer layer yeah. Um, but I'm not necessarily going to layer them in the colours of the Pride flag because it's going to, in the order, I'm sorry, which is yeah. the way you see it on the screen, on the screen because I'm just going to layer it how I want to layer yeah. it. Um, I do have, show pony if you could pass me that, a little bit of titanium white, which I might use just in a couple of places just to separate some of the colours. Got it. Um, so I'm just going to layer it right here for you guys. Um, so let's do this. Um, 
doesn't necessarily matter quite so much on a ribbon pour the way that you pour the colours in because everything is going to come out on this canvas and by the way this is a 12 by 16 that has been gallery wrapped I'm sorry that it has been that is gallery wrapped that has been backed and pinned by the show pony now these are all mixed fairly thick but I can tell you that there's definitely a mix of pouring mediums here because some of these are left over, some of these are not. I'm just gonna put a shot of white there. It wasn't totally necessary, but I kind of wanted to see some white in this one. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna turn out. Yeah, I've never done like these bright, bold colors in a ribbon pour before. I've used a lot of leftover colors in ribbon pours before. But I'm also kind of interested to see how this one reveals itself. But you know, I do love a ribbon pour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just putting these colours in as I see fit. Definitely trying to keep somewhat the warmer colours together. I tell you what, it's warm today. It's a, a beautiful weekend here in Texas. It's going to be like 100 degrees all week, I think. So. Yes, where it was 105 on Sunday. So guys, if you're coming to the Fluid Art Experience, pack those bathing suits, pack those shorts. You ain't going to be needing any jumpers. All right, that's my cup. All right, so you saw me lay my beautiful cup of many colors. What I've got right here is a blue. It's a lighter blue than what's gone in the pot, but this is going to be my base coat. This is leftover paints. It's a concophony of maybe a lot, <laughs> five, six, ten kind of pours that we did. <laughs> Something like that where we've scraped the table off and then we've kept the scrapings and we're going to use this today as a base coat. Base coat being something that I'm going to cover the whole of the canvas with rather than a flow extender, which is just something I put down around a composition to help the composition flow. So this is just going to get all over the canvas because what I really want with a ribbon pour is as much ability to tilt this one out as I can. One thing to note about ribbon pours is you always need twice as much paint as you think you do. So even though right. this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas, I've got 20 ounces of paint left over in my pot. Now, some might feel that that's wasteful, but as I said at the beginning, pretty much 80% of those are leftover paints. All right, show pony, I have a question for you. Yes. I've done diagonal uh -huh. ribbons. I've done horizontal ribbons. I've done vertical ribbons. Yes. What would you like to see? Um, I think you should do uh, horizontal ribbons because whenever you stretch them out, they always make really great like dips and... I agree, I like that. Yeah. Okay. But I think I might gonna do something different. Oh. After I just asked you for your opinion. I right. I've changed your mind <laughs> for you. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do something that I've not done before. Let's try this and ribbon pour this bad boy onto this canvas. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Like it's like a tie-dye t-shirt effect. Yeah. Um, definitely gonna keep some of that negative space blue, you know, clearly as I was pouring this one out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play with this one and see what happens. All right, show pony. It is 
tie-dye pride colour t-shirt tilting time. <laughs> tilting time. Let's top this bad boy out. Alright folks, there you have it. Um, I enjoyed playing with this one. I enjoyed stretching it out. I, I love the fact that I've still got every single colour represented here. Mm -hmm. Still looks very kind of crazy and tie-dye to me. Um, wasn't really what I was going for. Probably should have just gone like left or right, horizontal or vertical. Um, but it was interesting. And um, I've definitely got more of the base coat colour than I was planning on having. But again, I'm not mad about it. Um, so, I'm going to scrape my edges and um, I'm going to take you guys in for a close up. Nice. Alright, so I didn't love this. Um, I stepped back from it. I wasn't overjoyed over the moon. It didn't fill me with love. Show Pony said he liked it, but I think he was just trying to move me on. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, so, I've layered a cup again and i'm going to try this again leaving what's on here as a base coat because there's i stretched it all off it's just a perfect base coat and i'm going to pour right over this now you're going to be able to tell me if it, this was number one or what will soon be number two is your preference so let's ribbon pour this one again gonna just go diagonal this time awesome Definitely digging the transition of colours a lot more on this one, but let's stretch this out and see what happens. Mm. Jeremy, it's tilting time 2.0. It is tilting time. Let's stretch this bad boy out.
much happier with the way this one came out. I love these little watermelon slices. Oh my God, I thought the same thing. That I've got right here, right? <laughs> I should try and do something with that for sure. Um, yeah, definitely a better composition for me. Something to look at. I didn't like the blocks of color that I had in the other one. Um, I love the, like, the different types of ribbons that are in here. And I'd still love the kind of, you know, the transitions of the colors here mm -hmm. too. So yeah, my motto as it should be yours when it comes to fluid art is if you don't succeed, keep trying until you're bloody happy with something because it's fluid art. Mm -hmm. So um, I am going to torch this one off. I'm going to scrape my edges and this one I'm going to take you guys in for a close up. This is number two. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I'm actually really excited about this board Well, today. surprise, surprise. <laughs> no surprise. Um, Why are you excited, Chef Honey? Because I actually did this technique with these colors for last Pride, last year's Pride, and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen with it this time, because I loved what happened with it last time. So there's a specific way when I'm, I'm gonna be doing a marbling technique. Okay. <clears throat> and this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It right. has been taped and pinned on the bottom. Um, so I'm using the pride colors and there's a specific way of layering your cup when you're doing a marbling pour that will bring the colors up from the bottom of the paint to the top to where it gives it like a layered effect. And what that is is you want to put the darker colors on top and the lighter colors on the bottom because what happens is that when you flip the cup, mm -hmm. the darker colors that are on the bottom when you stretch out the canvas will come through the bottom of the other colors. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Okay, perfect. Yes. So that's, that's how I'm going to be layering my cup. I'm okay. going to do lighter colors first and I'm going to gradiate to the darker colors oh, at the top. That's interesting. I've never seen you do that before. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so that's how, that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. I hear you. Okay, yes. good, good, good. So, um, so you've got exactly the same colors I have. Yes. With the yes. addition of a lot of white. Clearly. With a lot of white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as, uh, if you haven't ever seen a marbling pour before, you use very little paint. Right. Yes. Very little paint. Which you'll see when you start layering this yes. cup. Now your yes. canvas is bigger than mine. It is bigger than yours. How big is it, sir? Uh, a 16 by 20. There you go. Yes. Okay, did you say that? I did I'm say sorry, that. I apologize. I zoned out for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, I did say that. Um, so let me go ahead and get to flooding my canvas because you need your whole canvas flooded. Or if you layer your cup first, you can do that on camera and then flood your canvas because then your cup won't be on your canvas. How about uh, that? That's it. That's how it needs to be done. Then I will it do would it that be. Way. I would okay. appreciate it because then I have to do multiple camera angles. Okay, yeah. that's perfect. I'll do it that way. Thank you, sir. Okay, here I go. I'm going to layer my cup. Here you go. So the cup, that, that's it. The white that's in your pot is for layering. So. Done. Okay. All right, so you've got all six colors in the pot there, mm -hmm. starting with the light 
golden hour working yes. all the way up to the red. Yes. Interesting. I'm really excited to see how this comes out. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get my base coat on here. Now this is just the same white. It is. Okay guys, so I got my canvas flooded. I am ready to flip my cup. I'm excited, it's not a grenade, it is an actual it's flip. It's an actual flip. Okay. All right, here we go. One, two. Would you, have you got some more paint on your gloves? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the cleanest gloves in the West, people. Oh, I love seeing, I can see all the streaks of color. I know, that's right, on the side, the yeah. Cup. Yeah, that's really pretty, actually. Okay, I'm going to release the Kraken. Release the beast. And now I'm just going to come up straight up like that. That's awesome. I can really see that pearl golden hour there. Yeah, you can consider when we thought it was going to disappear. Yeah. Now, are you bamming in any way or are you not? Are you just going to stretch it out and see how it goes? I'm going to stretch it out and see how it goes. Okay, so no bam. No bams. All right. All right, guys, you know what time it is. What time is it? It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Wow, guys, I'm in love. So pretty. You can actually see every single color represented think, in this. Yeah, I think you're right. The green, the purples, the orange, that golden hours coming through here. Right. I mean, the blue. I was really afraid that the green wasn't going to come through, and it is really, popping. it's really popping. Yeah, as you stretched out. Yeah. You revealed I love this purple right here. It's, it's so great because it, doing it, layering it that way, really brings multi lever multi-leveled in the paint okay there's like layers in the paint which i'm i love i love it it's very carnival very whimsical yes you know i like it a lot thank you mm -hmm. thank you thank you it's really soft which i, I enjoy just like you chef no <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so i'm gonna get my edges um i'm gonna torch it off one more time and we're gonna take you in for a close-up let's do it all right So there you have it. There you have it. Pride colors abound. All yes. right. So let me talk about my piece first, if I may. You may. Because I went first. So this was a twofer. Um, I poured this, wasn't happy. Jeremy said he liked it. I, I was like, like mm, okay, I'm okay with it. Let's throw it up. 
on the channel and then decided, no, I didn't. I wanted to give it another go. <laughs> so after I did everything, torched it, took my pictures of it, I layered another cup and re-poured it and then you'll see that one as well. Much preferred the second piece. I know you did. I liked my little slices of watermelon that I got on this one. I know, one. I, I did. I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I did. the first piece for me just didn't have anything to it. I really enjoyed the second. So yeah, those colors in a ribbon pour do work. Um, I like the way I stretched it out. Yeah, I definitely preferred that second piece. Nice. But I loved your marble. Oh, thank you very Marbling much. Marbling piece. Yes. Tell me about it. Um, I really, I, I love doing the pride col colors mm. with the marbling technique yeah. because it gives it so much depth and there's so many like layers mm -hmm. of it that come through. There's so many different things on so many different levels. So many different things on so many different levels. Right. <laughs> and um, yeah, layering the cup that way mm. really allows that to happen. I liked it. I liked yeah. it a lot. You know, those marbling pores for me and we've said this many times whenever we do them, always look like the background to something else. Yeah. We've just got to decide what that something else is because neither one of us really love a stencil. So, um, you know, um, there's definitely something that can be poured on the top of this, I think. Really? Maybe maybe the, the black and white dustpan. I don't know. Hmm. We'll think about it and you may see that piece again before the end of this month. Huh. You never know. You never know. So, without further ado, let me let you guys get on with it. We hope that you're here with us in this chat. Um, we hope that you're still watching. Yes. I mean, otherwise we're just shouting into a black hole of nothingness. Um, but we'll still keep putting port paintings up if that's the case. I really, really want you to come by and see us on Sunday because I've poured something that I've never done before. It's amazing. Thank you it's so much. amazing. Well. Still got one last thing to do on it before you get to see it. And Jeremy's going to do something that you've never seen before. Yes. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a real fun one. Uh, please come back and join us for that. Have a great evening. Yeah. Please have a great week. And uh, we'll see you back here on Friday for pouring the tea with Massey. Absolutely. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good day. And now to spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massey Posse, we like to call <laughs> them, are a group of people that have signed up to patreon.com. And on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams and at a separate level you might also get once a month tutorials yes so it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of massey art studios mm -hmm. so we have some people to thank yes at our gold level we have elizabeth galano jillian kennedy we have gloria salaki and jane klein we have janice swansea and kelly stowell we have kirsten blackley we have Linda Seriani. We have Mary Doulas, or Mama Doulas. Mama Doulas. Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters. We have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock. We've got Tammy Housebrook. We've got Terry Leshner and we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve. We have Susan Chigori and Susan Shepherson. Susan Shepherson. Yes. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver Patreons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much. 